Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And this is me, Paul Super Mario Gamer. And today I will show you how to fix crash in RPC S3. Let's get started, guys. I will cover many issues of crashing problem for RPC S3. If you face crashing problem during game in your RPC S3, if you face crashing problem on startup in your RPC S3, and if you face crashing problem after starting and after booting in your RPC S3. First of all guys, make sure you are using latest version RPC S3. So I am using an older version RPC S3. So I restart it. Now as you can see, update available. Now I click on yes. So this is a first solution of the problem for your RPC S3. So wait for some time. And it's done. Okay. Now my RPC S3 is up to date now. Guys, do not skip any part of this video. I will describe all solutions of this problem for your RPC S3 in this video. If you still are facing crashing problem for your RPC S3 after updating, then close your RPC S3 and right click and open file location and uh, you have to delete this folder save flash now delete it and close it and reopen your RPC S3 after deleting the folder you need to install firmware files so you need latest version firmware files for your RPC S3 and second solution is go to configuration option click here and go to cpu some games are workable with recompiler llvm and some games are workable with recompiler asmgit so if you are using recompiler llvm then choose asmgit now click on apply and save and if you still are facing the problem for your RPC S3, then go to configuration again and go to CPU and select restore default setting for your RPC S3. Click here and apply. And if you want more setting for your RPC S3 and still are facing crashing problem for your RPC S3, then go to configuration again. Go to CPU and select this one. And select one from here and uh, enable SPU loop detection and apply then go to GPU and select from here Vulkan or OpenGL some games workable with Vulkan and some games workable with OpenGL so you can try both options from here but I recommend Vulkan from here so I'm using graphic device NVIDIA G4 GTX 750 and if you want to use Vulkan in your RPC S3, make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU device. And type here device manager. Go to device manager control panel. Go to display adapter. Now right click, go to properties. Go to drivers and check your driver date and driver version installed in your PC. So I am using older version driver for my GPU. If you are using older version drivers for your GPU then please update drivers for your GPU. It's very important guys. If you don't update drivers for your GPU then you can't fix the problem for your RPC S3. It's very important guys. Now ok and close it. And for more settings for your RPC S3, go to frame limit and select off from here. And select from here 16 by 9. And you have to uncheck this option. Do not choose this option from here. And select from here 1. And you need to select from here resolution, default resolution. Now click on apply and go to advanced. You have to check this option debug console mod check it and apply and save if you still are facing the issue for your rpc s3 then right click and go to create custom configuration 
then go to advanced and select from here driver wake up 200 us and apply and save custom configuration and if this method does not work then right click again and go to change custom configuration again and go to advanced and select from here 800 us and apply and save custom configuration and make sure your settings are same for your game right click and change custom configuration go to cpu recompiler asm git and gpu and select vulkan and frame limit off And for more settings, go to your control panel for your GPU, whatever you are using, NVIDIA or AMD or Intel HD graphics. So I am using NVIDIA GPU. Then right click and go to NVIDIA control panel. So go to configure surround and select from here your GPU device. And click on apply and go to adjust image settings. And select from here performance check it and apply and go to manage 3d settings scroll down and open gl renting gpu select your gpu device and scroll down and power management mod select performance from here maximum performance scroll down and texture filtering quality Select high performance from here and it's done click on apply and go to program settings click here and select your rpc s3 application click on add and click on browser and go to your rpc s3 folder you want to use so select this application file open and apply and it's done now close it and for more settings right click and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphic settings now I delete my old rpcs3 application file from here remove and browser and go to your rpcs3 folder select this application file add and options and high performance and save and it's done so guys i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you and i hope you like this video and thanks for watching see you in the next video